Welcome to Le Grand Voyage with Chateau Malartic La Gravière. And welcome also to the world's maddest race. It's a marathon, but not as you or I know it. It's the same length as any other marathon. But after that, the similarities end. This is the Marathon du Médoc, an annual event in Bordeaux. 42 kilometres, just over 26 miles, through the vineyards of Médoc into the villages of Pauillac, Saint-Julien and Saint-Estef, that run alongside the left bank of the Gironde River as it heads out to the sea. Here's my medal. I finished it once, and to be honest, it nearly finished me. The race takes place at the end of summer, usually in mid-September. The harvest is getting into full swing, and the vines are either heavy with grapes or have just lost them into the buckets of pickers passing through the rows. Even if you're not a runner, or you're there with someone who is, it's a lovely time to see the fruit of the year coming into the chateaus of the region. The marathon attracts about 8,500 runners from more than 50 countries around the world. Much like other marathons, you might think. Well, yes, only here they're all in fancy dress. The year I ran the marathon, the theme was myths and legends, so the start line was awash with goblins, fairies, Rapunzels, Robin Hoods and hobbits. I was Obi-Wan Kenobi, a sort of modern-day wine legend, I suppose. By about the third mile, or the fifth kilometre, you discover that fancy dress costumes are not made for marathon running. The temperature was still like a warm summer's day, and I was quickly soaking in my four-layer costume. But fortunately, there are plenty of drinking stations along the way, although as befits a marathon in the world's leading wine region, these serve wine. You can taste your way through the different soil types, the different styles that characterise each village, from the charm and perfume of Saint-Julien. That's quite a contrast with the stolid austerity of saint Estef, And then the structure and the Bordeaux dust tannins of Pauillac. And here you can taste the dust of Bordeaux between the chateau too. Much of the marathon is not run on paved roads. You jog through the vineyards themselves, alongside the rows of vines. These are the farm tracks that spend the other 11 months and 30 days as the routes for tractors and four-wheel drive trucks to get pruners, pickers and leaf pluckers into the heart of the vines. It's a trail run as much as a road run, only this time with a crowd of visiting Belgian men dressed as Snow White who have just drunk their sixth glass of wine in a, a row. For all the fun and games, after 26 miles, you do come away with an immersive learning experience of the region. I spent a quarter of a century reading about Caillou, or the rocks that make many of the vineyards in Bordeaux so special. But none of those books was so memorable as kicking a big caillou with my toe, toe at about 19 miles. These same books often talked about the elevation differences between vineyards and the impact they have on neighbouring chateaux. My running friends and I had a healthy drink at Chateau Lafitte Rothschild at the northern limit of Poyac. You jog down the drive and then turn left onto the D2 road. This crosses the Jai de Bruy stream. It's one of the drainage channels built by the Dutch centuries ago to create new vineyards. Then you're faced with a, a climb, quite a steep climb, up to Cos d'Estenel. The word Cos is an old Gascon term. It means a hill of pebbles. At that stage of the run, it might as well have meant Everest. I only managed to keep jogging to the top thanks to a bearded winemaker dressed as Cinderella shouting, Chase me! Chase me! as he skipped ahead. The final part of the marathon is a long, straight drag back to the town of Poyac, running alongside the river. It would be a bit dull, but the road is lined with bands and feed stations. Although don't expect energy drinks or carbohydrate gels. Here, your final few miles are sustained by oysters, steak, cheese, chocolate and some very welcome ice cream. Then you finish. 
I've run marathons before and I was a little disappointed to come over the line in 6 hours and 27 minutes. But a friend looked delighted. This is the perfect time, he declared, just before the cut-off. Any slower and I wasn't running enough. Any quicker and I wasn't drinking enough. You can do the Marathon de Medoc too. It's huge fun and you can tie it into a visit to the regions you don't run through. I can recommend a restorative dinner the night after in Pesac Léonion with some Malatic Le Gravier or a gentle drive into the city of Bordeaux the next morning to hobble through the grand squares and buildings before lunch. But while you wonder if you have the legs to get around a wine marathon, remember to join us again tomorrow for more from Le Grand Voyage with Chateau Malatic Le Gravier. I'll see you then.